Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Super Sim <clears throat> Challenge. We are here with our twinsies. So I am starting off looking at this spreadsheet because I want to see exactly what I need to get done today. So we need to have a vacation, have our first visitor, visit a family member's home, which we don't have a family member yet. So we're not going to be able to do probably any of, mm, we could probably invite someone over, I guess. Um, but they need to learn to dance, pull to stand. Um, she needs to learn that one. And she also needs to learn to blow raspberries. They both need to learn to blow kisses and learn peekaboo, say their first word and wave. So we have a lot of stuff still to get through. And, um, I want to see how many more days I have with them. <coughs> oh my God, they're aging up. Okay, um, I was scared this was going to happen, and it's because I changed my aging for my Millman family to make the aging shorter. So what I'm going to do is, because I did that on long, and I'm playing this on long, of course, I'm going to actually turn my aging off. Because I did this not thinking about this challenge. Um, so I'm going to put that my my aging is going to be off until we're ready for them to age. Um, just because I don't actually want them to age um, before we've com successfully like completed everything. And I mean, it's a super sim challenge, right? Like, I can't have infants take any kind of potion to give them more time so I'm gonna turn it off for the ages that I can't give them like a potion to reverse their aging and then for obvious like ages where I can I will give them a potion to reverse their age I think that's okay because I mean what else am I gonna do you know okay so um, we need to have a visitor today and maybe we can just invite someone over um, I think mom is upstairs and she's fully slept. So I'm actually going to have mom go ahead and get up and have her start getting ready with her day. I'm going to have him go ahead and, um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. use his diaper. I will let mom go ahead and use. So our water has been shut off because we don't have enough to pay our bills. And our bills are 600 and something. We have literally barely 300. So we've got a little bit, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, but that's okay. We're going to work on it today. We're going to try and get our, get through it. I don't really want to sell anything more. I have thought about selling this extra couch because we don't really need it. And, um, that is the only thing I can think of in this house that we don't actually need. Um, I'm thinking of selling some harvestables if they come up today and some other stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But um, those are my thoughts, okay? Those are my thoughts. Oh, yeah, we don't have any water to take a bath. But we can go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, go ahead and... Um, why can't we get the bambino out of here? Um... Give finger foods to Amberlyn. Give her the peanut butter puffs. Mom just got peed on. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Mom is going to go ahead and give finger foods to Bradley and give him the peanut butter puffs as well because it really seems to be the only finger food that they actually like. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> but it's okay. What is this? Is this Dario? Oh, it is. I put it up here on this. I didn't realize that interesting stuff okay mom go ahead and get him fed he is very hungry and both of their plates just automatically spawn here which is kind of silly but it is what it is um this house needs to also really badly be cleaned so that's another thing but dad's gonna be doing some quick jobs today hopefully he's gonna get some good ones and get through it i know you're stinky but there's nothing i can do at the moment we could buy some candles, but I mean, that's not going to help our situation, so I wasn't trying to do all that. Oh my gosh, Mom. No. Mom. 
Throw this away. Mom, throw it away. And then let's cook up some breakfast or something. Um, let's make up some fruit salad. We'll just do um, a family size. Dad. Dad, what are you doing? All right, let's have the dad vacuum. Oh my goodness, my Lanta girl. Okay, throw this away, please. And let's have dad vacuum, because it is really bad. And also, we need to clean up these. Ugh, we need to throw away these dishes or something. We got to do something with them, okay? We can't leave them up here. It's getting disgusting around here. Um. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We might have to sell some of these, and maybe we could... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We have some um, veggies in here, and we have a bunch of these carrots. So let's sell those pepperinos. And what about this? We've got a bunch of these in here, too. Okay, selling that as well. Making some monies. What if I sold these? 60, okay. What if I sold this? 90, dopish fleen. And what if I sold these? 150, Bam Schlamarama, we've got the money for the bills. Okay, go ahead and pay the bills. All right, mom. Mom's got stuff in her inventory too. Oh, we know what we'll sell that too. I'm not worried about them upgrading things. I'm really not. Dad, pay those bills. And then I'll have you scavenge for parts out of this, I guess. And the lights are on. Yeah, mom and dad finally were successful in getting the lights on in our house. All right, mom is also going to go ahead and, well, let's clean up both of the plates. And then we'll feed them both a little bit more because they always need more. I don't know what's up with it, but they always seem to need more food. Let's sell off these. We go make us some more monies okay dad's gonna do some quick jobs today to make some money because of course we need it and oh okay that's not what i thought you were gonna do but alrighty then oh are you changing her oh that's really sweet thank you so much i didn't even know she was stinky oh she's not interesting okay if you say so if you say so all right now you can put Amberlyn here Mom is done eating. She's feeling good. Mom is going to clean. And then she is going to vacuum. I know she loves the vacuum. Okay? I'm just kidding. Nobody likes the vacuum. Not even myself. But you know what? It needs to be done. And every once in a while, you got to do it. And that's okay. All right. Let's get this all going. Stop it. Grab a serving and then put this away. No, don't put her in there. Do not, because she can't get out of it. Uh, another thing that I really hate about this thing is that they can't get out of it. Like, seriously? Crawl here. Can't. See? Silly. She should be able to just crawl right out. Why, why is it like a barring... Why does it bar her in there like a cage? I don't understand that. But it is what it is, I guess. All right, Dad. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? You're just going to drop everything I just told you to do? Why? Just grab a plate. What's so hard about that? All right, well... No, I don't want to help him explore anything. I just want to give him more finger food. Just give him some yogurt melts. And then um, give finger foods to Amberlyn and give her the peanut butter puffs because that's all she likes. Give her all these things. Mom's just cleaning away. Dad's about to start getting ready for an odd job. Here in a little bit. Mom, just do that. Vacuum the house. And then you can come take a bath. Okay? Dad? Hello? You gotta put the baby here. Put Amberlynn here. Stop watching TV. And then grab a serving and put this away. Why is she crying? Mom's phone is ringing. Paulo, Rocco, and I had a blast together. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. Please tell me this floor is going to get cleaned. It's going to be fantastic. 
Dad, hello? Are you asleep or... I think he's semi-asleep. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright. Come on, Dad. And then hopefully you can let Bradley out. Because he should be grand. Eat your food. Oh, she's listening to him. They're like talking to each other. That's cute. Why can't she eat? And why can't I tell her to eat? Like, the heck? All right, well. The romance festivals here, we're not going. It's about the babies, not the, not the, not the, but we will do those festivals later in life when our kiddos are older, like uh, young adults, probably. All right, dude. So what was some of the stuff that I said he needed to work on? I can't even remember now. It's been long enough and I've already been taking care of them long enough. Oh, so he needs to learn to dance. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn this on to, <clears throat> um, kids radio, because what kid is going to want to listen to anything else? Um, and let's wiggle to the music. Okay, is she eating? Why is she not eating this? Can dad... You know what, Dad? Just bottle feed her. And Mom, once you're done in the bath, let's have you clean up these um, dishes. Because this is getting bad. This house is becoming a mess, but we're finally getting it cleaned. Just feed her a bottle. Dad? Don't worry about him. He's fine. Just wiggle to the music. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle what your mama gave you. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And he can also use his diaper. He can do those at the same time. He's multitasking. Alright, and she can use her diaper. And then dad can put Amberlyn here. She should be grand now. Yeah, she's perfect. She's using the potty though, so even better in a second. She is gonna need a nap and so is he. He's also gonna need a bottle, I think. So we will have mom or dad give him a bottle, but otherwise, good. Stop holding her. Stop watching this. Put her down. And then I'm going to have him look for an odd job. Um, oh, they don't start until 8. Okay, now you can watch TV. And I want you to wiggle to the music as well. I know you want to play with that thing, but there's other things that I need you to work on here. Okay, so her brother and her, they're both fascinated with each other, which is this sentiment. I think, I don't know if he's fascinated with her, but I think he was at one point. Um, Amberlynn's sentiment about Bradley. Yeah, fascinated. Look at her picture. He's hungry, so... Whenever mom is ready to get out of the bath, she can come on down and feed him. Um... Um, let's see. Oops. Uh, baby care. Feed. You can bottle feed him. What is this? Baby bop. I'm dancing the music. It's too funny. Alright. Oh! She learned to dance. 
She learned to dance. Yeah! Would you look at this? There's a tiny dancer in our midst. The jiggle and wiggle has started to match the beat. Kick those feet and wave those little arms in the air like you just don't care. Okay, so now on the spreadsheet, I can put that she has officially learned to dance. <gasps> oh, that's so good. I'm so excited. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, so we're going to put in there pink because she learned that. I know you guys can't see, but it's okay. She needs to now learn how to blow a kiss, blow, uh, play peekaboo, say her first word, and wave. Oh, my land. So we're going to be on this stage for freaking ever, I feel. So it's going to be interesting. Here we go. Um, let's see how this goes. Um, don't check him, feed him. Oh, he just like fell. <laughs> She's really getting down with a bad self. Look at her go. <laughs> All right, so now. I wonder how we could teach her something. Okay, I think he can look up an odd job now. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. They're like all dressed warm because it's cold in here. <laughs> all right. Um, TV hookup help. 23 an hour. Hmm. This is, see, this one is 120. It seems like everyone on the island is in constant state of sunshine. They're all so helpful and sweet. It's annoying. Let's cause a bit of mayhem on the beaches. We'll show them how to have real fun. Oh, boy. I wish I could get that one. 426? Oh, my gosh. I told my visiting friends that I knew how to make great kava. I have no idea how to make kava, any kava, let alone great kava. Interested in connecting with someone who can make the most amazing kava Sulani has ever tasted, willing to pay them to do so. You need a mixology level of two. I don't think he has that, though. Uh. Okay, let's start with the TV hookup. I want to try and do as many of these today as possible. So let's do the TV hookup. I think he can do that one. Does he have handiness level one? Yeah, he has handiness level four, so he should definitely be able to do that. That would be fantastic. Don't put her in there. God, why does he do this to me? Go to your job. Go to work. Please. All right, just try and go night in here then, can you? Try and go night. Mom, go ahead and put Bradley to sleep here. Okay, and now, Mom, can you, like, throw away some of this stuff, please? For the goodness, for goodness sake. Um, I can't vacuum because the babies are sleeping, and I think it wakes them up. So I don't want to do that. I still need to vacuum more in here, though. Maybe she could vacuum in the kitchen. Do we think that would work? I'm curious to know now. Like, if she could vacuum in the kitchen without waking them up. Curiosity kills the cat, I guess. Alright, I think they're both sleeping, so we're good there. Oh, well, he is about to be sleeping, I mean. They don't cry like they used to, which is fantastic. Clean this up. So Sims 4 has this annoying glitch where they can't clean up the dishes. Um, until Unless you click it like and tell them to do it like seven times in a row. It's the most annoying thing that I have noticed about the sims 4 and i i really despise that glitch that like issue um but i try to just work through it and not get like upset about it or like stressed out about it but it's so annoying i'm gonna try i don't know if i should do this first let's empty the vacuum because i think there's probably a lot of dust in there we've been vacuuming so much in the house like <coughs> how is that thing not exploded it hasn't exploded yet. Um, hopefully it never explodes, but I'm concerned that someday it might. <laughs> because we just have so much dust all the time. <sighs> okay. <coughs> mm. 
Okay, these two are fast asleep. So, she's actually in green already. Holy moly. All right, that went quick. All right, Mom, can you vacuum around? Vacuum in the kitchen, though. I want to see if it wakes them up. Ooh, maybe it doesn't if you're in a different room. They're not even being awoken by the music, so would the vacuum wake them up? I think it does. I mean, it's pretty loud, even for me. <laughs> it's pretty loud in my ears, and I'm not even in the house. So. All right, then I'll have her harvest all of the the vegetables and things out back, and we can go from there. Um, it's good that we're in a small little house, but it also is difficult. Uh, by the time that the kiddos are children, we will need a two-bedroom home. And I know you're probably thinking, how the heck are you going to do that? Well, we might have to get imaginative around here. How we're going to make some money. Because he doesn't do always the best on the, um, the odd jobs. So, yeah. Oh, she's up to gardening level two. Hopefully he gets better. Let's just put it that way. Hopefully he starts making more money. I mean, making 400 and something a day wouldn't be horrible. But I think there is the possibility to obviously have a job and make more. I want to try and really get them on a more stable income. But it is very hard. It is extremely hard to have a stable income with the odd jobs because... He doesn't have all the skills he needs sometimes. And so he does like a job because it might be the only one we can do or whatever. And I just think sometimes it kind of backfires on us because then we end up not being able to like get any money from the job that we do. I don't know. It just seems really stressful sometimes to do odd jobs. This floor is still not clean, but we did just make... 89 simoleons and it says not only did dylan hook up the tv but he also looked or hooked up the surround sound the client couldn't have been more pleased in gratitude they bestowed upon dylan master of electronics the gifts of a cookie and a tip after all the master of electronics demands a tip as tribute so that's pretty good um but really honestly we need more money than that 89 isn't really enough so Oops, let's get another odd job. Let's get him right back out there and get working on a second one. Hoping to com complete at least three or four a day. If we can. So, yeah, you go, girl. Okay, so you've done that one. The seashells one, we would have to go get seashells from the beach. I mean, we can, but it wasn't like my thing. Um... Charisma level one, looking for judges for a local sand sculpture competition, must familiarize self with all rules and regulations upon arrival of event. Mm. Mayhem at the beach. I kind of want to do this one, but does he have mischief level four? Because like, seriously, if he doesn't, he won't do well. And that's $120. Okay. That's better. Um, a wingman. He needs charisma level three photos. He needs photography level one. $66, 42 an hour. And the Kava one is just really screaming out to me, but I need Mixology level two. Let me see. Does he have Mixology at all? That might be another thing we could look into. Mixology, no. Um, he has Charisma level one. Let's just do this by level. So handiness, parenting, gardening, fitness, cooking, Charisma. His Charisma isn't very good either. Schuster, Schuster. Um, let's see. Find an odd job while we have this open so we can see it. Um, come on, buddy. Girl, she's really getting it. Um, earbuds have been added to his inventory. Okay, cool. Okay, so this one was recommended none because we have to go get the seashells. Charisma level one, we could do this. Um... We have mischief level one, so not even four. So we can't really do that one because it'll just come back bad. We can't do the charisma three. Do we have photography? 
No, but I think if we took like a photo, we would get photo we would get some kind of like photography skill. So we could probably do that one. So we really can only do two more unless we want to go do the seashells one, which we might have to. But let's do the sand sculpture judge right now. Let's get this one out of the way. Because he needs charisma level one, which he does have, it is right here. And he's actually 63%. Oh, she likes dancing. Okay, that's fine. Um, that just means that when she's dancing, it'll give her extra fun too, which is good. We want that. Why is he so upset? From fear of unfulfilled dreams. Oh, maybe sharing these fears with someone close will help. Okay, let's see if we can share them with her. <clears throat> um, where is it? How do you do this? I always forget how to do this. Friendly. Um, when does he go to this job? Discuss your fears. Okay, the kiddos are gonna have to wake up soon. Because I want them to, like, start working on some more things. Okay, let's see. They're still asleep. Um... All right, go ahead and go. All right, have a good time. Do well, please. How good are their sleep? Hers is pretty good. Hers is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to have her vacuum again. And if it wakes them up, it's okay. But I want to get some more vacuuming done. And I want to get these guys working on some more skills. She wants to volunteer. Yeah, it like instantly wakes them up. Hold the stand. I really hope they don't age up today. Because this is concerning me. Look at him. He looks so tiny. He really does. He looks so tiny in there. <laughs> All right, so he's really, really working on this. He's so freaking cute. Look at him. That is so adorable. All right, mom, go ahead and um, let Bradley out. And what was something that Bradley needed to work on? So Bradley needs to learn to dance still. So let's have him continue working with that. He just needs to keep working um, with dancing with the radio. And then we'll be fine. Okay, let's wiggle to the music. Oh, I forget. You can only do it once. You can't do it. Like, you can't have him do it multiple times. Alright, so we're having him learn to dance because that's what he needs to work on right now. While he's learning to dance, mom, come on up and use the bathroom. Yes! He did it! He did it! He did it! He did it! Oh, thank goodness. That's one more thing done. So now we can just put that done and we can move on down the sheet a little bit. So we still need the first vacation, the first visitor, first visit to a family member's house. He knows to stand. He knows to blow raspberry. Now he needs to learn to blow a kiss. Okay, so mom, once you're done in the bathroom, I'm going to have you come on down here and let's see if we can blow him a kiss. Um, friendly. Watch him read to him. We could also play peekaboo. He does need to learn peekaboo. But can we blow him a kiss? Blow raspberry. Let's do the raspberry because I can find that one pretty easily. Blow raspberry. Blow raspberry. Oh, shoot. You know what, Mom? Before you do this, why don't you let... Why don't you get Amberlyn out of here? Um... Okay, why don't you hold her? Actions? I don't understand. 
It's so hard to know what you gotta click on. I, just, I can't. Pick her up. How do I pick her up? Baby care. Pick up. Okay, so Amber Lynn, one of the first things that I do know she needs to do is pull the sand. So we're gonna work on that for her. Stop fussing so she can come get you. We're waiting. All right, go pick her up. It's taking you forever just to get down here to do this. Okay, put Amberlynn down here. Stop it, put her down. No! <gasps> oh, these people. This baby thing is annoying. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete it. That's what I'm gonna do. Pick her up. We don't need it anymore. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I think I could put it just in her inventory. Just to get it out of here. Oops. So that they stop putting them in there because they keep putting them in there. And the babies, the toddlers can't get, or the infants cannot get out. Once they're put in there, they're kind of like stuck and it's really annoying. Okay, now, can you just like put her here, please? No, please don't put her in that crib. I swear to goodness. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like Bradley needs a diaper change. So let's change Bradley's diaper. Okay, so now, how does she practice? Why, why, why are we being carried again? Okay, how do I have her practice pull the sand? I forget how I did it. I did it at the park with them, didn't I? Can you stop, please? Put me down. I am seriously trying to do something here. Um, how do you do pull the sand? Mom, are you going to change his diaper today or... Okay, she is. Um, yeah, how do I do pull the sand? I don't even know. I, I know he had it, but... Why doesn't she have it? Hmm. I might have to go back to the park then and have her do it there because I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to allow her to do it on anything. Ew. Playing. Yeah, gross. Um. Let's just see if it's like that kind of bench. You know what I mean? Like, is there a bench out here? If I click on this, no, she can't do anything with that. Okay, so it's not just a bench. It's just she can't do that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's let her use her diaper, though, because she does need to go to the potty. So we'll do that. Mom, can you change him, please? Mom? All right, is he hungry? Yeah, we should probably feed him. Can these babies get rewards? Because seriously, their needs go down way too fast. Like she literally, okay, she literally just woke up and look at her energy already. It's almost a third of the way down. Like that is ridiculous and too much for me. Okay, go ahead and put Bradley down here. And give him finger foods. Give him yogurt melts. Okay, now can you change Amberlynn's diaper? It's prank day. We'll get them at least changed up. And then put Amberlynn here. Come on. Why did she just stand there? Like, what is this idle interaction? Pick her up. No, I want you to put her in the high chair. Okay, so since it was a success, he viewed fancy can sand castles, checked some boxes, drank some free punch. It was a good day at the beach, and he got paid. What beats that? So he got 105 from that. Okay. Um, can he do 
another one. It's getting late. I don't know if he can do many more. Yeah. Alright, Mom, go ahead and clean that up. And then I'm going to have you bottle feed him. Okay, so we can do one more. The only other one I could think of was the photography. He doesn't have photography skill, but I was saying how I think maybe we could just take a picture of something and he would get the photography skill. So we'll have him take a selfie real quick. Let's do that. Let's have him take him take a selfie of himself. <laughs> Take a selfie. This way, we'll get the skill, and then he'll have the skill for when he goes. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see what other... <laughs> let's see what other, um, poses there are. Let's see. That one, that one, or that one. Get it. There we go. We should have the photography skill. Ah, I do believe. Hello? Why will my game not pause? Weird things happening. Yeah, photography now. Alright, go ahead and get some leftovers. Come on, Bradley. Just eat it. Eat the bottle. No, really? Okay. Mom will lay you down then. Okay, put Bradley to sleep there. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. I asked you to get some leftovers. I didn't ask you to feed her. Go. Mom is going to help Amberlynn eat some sweet potato puree. Because she likes it and she's already had peanut butter puffs twice today. We probably don't need to give it to her again. Let's be honest. You have to be smart. Uh, huh? She likes that she likes this food, so she should eat it well. And then we're gonna have mom bottle feed her. Did he go upstairs to eat? Leave him alone. Alright, why don't you take a bath while you wait for your job to start? That way you can be in a really good mood when you know you gotta go. Oh my goodness. Alright, she is very happy with that. Let's just give her a bottle so we finish off her hunger bar. And then she's already exhausted. Oh my gosh. Like literally we can't get anything done. These kids have to sleep so much. Oh, okay. We'll get mom to lay her down when she's in bottle feeding her. So we'll put Amberlynn to sleep. And then we will um, get the leftovers that are in there. Alright, and Dad. Dad doesn't have to go to work yet? When does, when does he go to work? Oh, we have to take pictures of something. Travel to the national natural island of Maua Pelam and take a few photos with a camera. Oh no. Where is the natural island of Maua Pelam? Okay, we gotta travel then. I didn't realize this was like um something we had to actually go do. But that's okay. We'll just take dad because the babies are sleeping. We'll let them sleep while we're out. And I'm assuming that's here. Um, where is this place? But how am I supposed to know what I'm taking a photo of? The island? This? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Here? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, this is irritating that I don't know where I'm going. <sighs> okay. So, take pictures of Mawapalam. Travel to the nat natural island. 
a malapalam and take a few pictures with a camera. Okay, well if we take a if we take a picture and nothing happens, then we'll know that this isn't it. So take a photo and I mean the picture of the fish jumping is pretty cool. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, did that count? No. We've got one. Okay. Um, let's have you take a photo in this direction, maybe. So go here. Oh, the row. Since the babies are sleeping, there's nothing else we can have them really do. We're just gonna we're just gonna work on dad and getting him some photos that he needs for his job. Oh wait, we got it! We already got it. I don't even need to do this. Here we go. So it said where'd that go? It says great success. The client was elated with the quality of the photos starting or stating that they made the publication look super f professional. Not only that, but they arrived super quickly, allowing the client to submit early. Dylan certainly earned a great review with a tip. He got a job, uh, odd job rating improvement, 66 simoleons, 19 simoleon dollar tip, and relationship gained with Ulrich. I think that's how you say her name. I don't really know if that's how you say her name, but that's all I say because I don't know how else to say it. I want to see if we can grab one more odd job. Oh, and then, okay, we can't check back until tomorrow. But we are at almost 600 bucks, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, Dad wants to level up in the fitness skill, and he wants to go on vacation to Granite Falls. I would love to go on vacation because it is one of the things that the kiddos need to do, but I wanted to have over a 1,000 before we did that, so maybe if we keep working as hard as we did today on odd jobs, we will be able to get that done sooner rather than later, of course. So let's go back to our house because, you know, this is mostly about the babies. But, of course, mom and dad still need to be able to make money. So we still need to have them traveling to do things if they absolutely need to. And, of course, we needed to. Now, the next episode of this isn't actually going to be a gameplay. It's going to be me building and creating the house that... Um, that my sims um grew up in um i'm gonna pick one or the other thinking i'm gonna pick amberlyn because the whole story was that they lived with amberlyn's parents um so i'm thinking i'm gonna build amberlyn's parents i will do his parents as well but i'm not gonna do them right now because i don't think it's that important um but I, I'm going to build her or create her parents um, from her. And then I'm going to um, build them a house with like a childhood bedroom for her in it. Um, maybe she has a couple of siblings. Who knows? I would, I, I'll, I'll think of the storyline for it. Um, but that's going to be my next episode for this, of course, because I want to definitely get that done. I want to um, figure all that out. Okay, so we need to get the kiddos back to bed because... When we left, I guess they didn't sleep. So let's go ahead and have dad put Bradley here. And mom, go ahead and put Amberlyn here, please. And thank you. Okay, fantastic. Dad, are you coming? And who are you, lady? Oh, okay. She said, I'm no one. Nope. <laughs> oh, The Sims is funny. All right, clean this up. I've really been enjoying The Sims 4 lately. Um, I've brought back my Millmans and really been enjoying them. So if you're like, why are you playing so much Sims 4? Well, that's kind of the reason why. A little bit. All right. He does a little... Like, he wants to level up his um, fitness skills. So I'm going to have him drink an energy juice. And then I'm going to have him go jogging for a little while. And I think jogging for him is fun. So... I am going to have him go do this and get this out of the way maybe he can build up that skill today if not then you know whatever but at least we've tried so he's gonna go jogging mom please just clean it up for goodness sake i'm about to just put it in her inventory so she'll actually take care of it the first time that i tell her to instead of sitting here having to like argue with her about doing it 
I feel like she's like my teenage child who doesn't want to do the dishes. All right, what's wrong with you? Go to bed. Try to go night night. Mom. Okay, I thought she was going after Amberlynn. I was like, Mom, leave her be. <laughs> I'm gonna get Mom to bed when she cleans up these dishes. Please clean them up and don't put them back down. Clean them up. And clean this up too. I don't know why she's crying so much, but she is. I'm just ignoring her, honestly. Because she'll be fine. She'll go to sleep. It's okay for a baby to cry when they're going to sleep. It's okay. It doesn't hurt them. Yes, thank you. See, that's what I expect you to do. All right, when you're done, you can go ahead and go to sleep. And then we are with Dylan. Dylan, did you even go jogging, dude? Like, seriously. Or did he just, like, walk outside and put his different clothes back on? Go jogging. I want to make sure you do this. There's no reason you can't jog for a little bit. Okay, his fun is definitely increasing with jogging. So we need to force him to go jogging a little bit more. Um, especially because it's something he actually wants to do. <clears throat> so we can get some points. And also because it gives him fun. And it gives him something to do for himself. I think that's another big pointer uh, um, that I want to make in this game. Is that not only is this LP about, you know, the babies, but it's about their family at the beginning as well. Like how they came to be, you know, um, you know, the struggles that they went through, obviously. And mom and dad are a big part of this. If mom and dad aren't happy, then neither are the kiddos. And so I do need to kind of always remind myself sometimes that it's not just about Amberlynn and Bradley. It's also about the mom and the dad too, about them, you know, needing what they need and that kind of stuff. So... Yeah. Why are you awake? Why are you both awake? Try and go tonight. Try and go tonight. Stop crying. Stop complaining. And go to sleep. Maybe it's the radio. Alright, let's turn this off. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, dad is still out jogging, but that's okay. Because the babies are in their beds. They're ready for bed and they're trying to go to sleep. So it's going to be good. Um, I will have him go back home when he's ready, but for right now, he's okay. Like, seriously, one day I hope we have a house like this. That would be fantastic. I would love the house. I'm going to be honest with you. In real life and in the game, okay? Um, so yeah. And I want him to definitely try and get some points because he can spend those on things like helping mom and dad not need to sleep so much or helping them not need to eat or drink or whatever. So it would be really helpful. This is kind of cool. I've never seen that. But I'm speeding up every once in a while because I don't want to sit here and speed up the whole time. But I also don't want to watch him just jog. You know, that's not quite my forte. So, yeah. Go away. I could already see that you're coming here and I'm going to tell you to go home. Go home. Just go home and get away from me. Okay, what is up with all the water? <laughs> what is up with this? Drink this. Did you drink it? Or stick it in your bum? Like, seriously. <laughs> By his bum, I mean his pockets. Seriously, it just like it just like disappeared and it was gone. But yeah, this house is definitely not gonna work once the kiddos are children. So we will have to figure something out about that as well because that is just not gonna work for me. It's just not. We only got through one day, and I only have like 14 minutes left. But I'm gonna go ahead and let them sleep, and I'll be back when they're waking up for their day. Be back in just a second. Alrighty, so mom is coming on downstairs. Um, Amberlynn and everybody is up. Good morning, everyone. And we are getting mom to go ahead and feed her, of course. Um, she's very hungry. I'm just going to have her bottle feed her this morning. Just kind of get it quickly out of the way. Um, we've kind of done the high chair stuff. I don't really need to feed them in the high chair anymore if I don't want to. Um, we've kind of done it. We've seen it. You know, it's all good. I do want to get a sweet moment of Mama Bear feeding Baby Bear here um, for the cover photo. Especially because it 
we're all, we are getting closer. Like, we've definitely had a lot of time with them as infants, of course. Um, but the second they're able to age up, I'm going to age them up. I'm not going to wait. Um, just because I had to turn off the aging. And then I'll turn the aging back on and I'll let it kind of go through. In hopes that we can finish the toddlers before, you know, of course. Uh, it gets to the point where I have to turn it off again. And then as children, I think children can take uh, like a potion to reverse their aging. So then we would just be able to do that, of course. All right, mom, go ahead and put Amberlynn down here. That is good. Baby is all fed. She is feeling fantastic. And the bottle, of course, also. The bottle fully fills the hunker bar for the babies where the finger food does not. Um, unfortunately, the finger food absolutely does not feed them all the way and it just kind of stinks that it's like that but it is what it is okay so she uh, is going to do this i think safe. we might have to help her learn to stand or something i'm not really sure how i got him to stand or like pull up onto things but i know that we were like doing things at the park with it and i don't know practice standing I don't know. I don't want to do that yet. Because I think that we actually need to do some other things first. He really needs a shave. I've thought about deleting the tub and getting just a shower. But then I thought, what about the babies? You know? What about the babies? What do the babies do at that point? Ugh. What do we do about them when they need like a bath? You know? I don't mean to go there. No, I don't want to do that either. Oh my goodness. I can't click anything right. Put Bradley down on the floor. And then go to the bathroom. Please. Perfect. You're good? Yes. Um, so... What was it that we were having Amberlynn work on? We were having her work on... Pole to sand. But I don't remember how I did that. Maybe we could work on Blow Kiss, Raspberry, Orlin, Peekaboo, Say Your First Word, Wave. Oh my gosh, we have so much still. <laughs> um, where's Bradley? Oh, there he is. Okay, I thought she just like... I thought she took him... Oh my. Well, Blow Out Central, here we come. Disgusting. Okay, we're gonna have to give him a bath. He just had a blow. It's all over the floor. That's really gross, dude. Really gross. Alright. Let's have you serve breakfast for everybody. Let's just cook up some, um, uh, let's see, breakfast foods. Maybe let's make up some eggs and toast today. We'll just, yeah, make up, make up, make up eggs and toast. Get out of the bath and go do that. Mom, I know you need a shower. You also need food. But the thing is, is mom also needs to bathe Bradley next so while we wait for dad to get out of there let's have mom vacuum this yeah see she wants to vacuum the house see I'm not it's not I'm like it's not like I'm making her do things she doesn't want to do she actually just rolled the wish to want to vacuum the house chat with May we need to invite someone over let's do that today um hello Dylan can you get out of the bath god man you're taking forever Oh my, he's like booking it. Um, give a bath to Bradley, please. He's pooped his pants and it's all over the floor. Thank you. And we'll just change Amberlynn's diaper. She, her hygiene's not horrible. It's not great either. Look at her energy. Okay, seriously. I'm going to find a mod to make the needs not drop so quickly. Especially the energy. That is ridiculous. Her energy's already in yellow and she literally just got up an hour ago in game. That's not okay. That is, that's excessive. He's talking to himself. You know what they say, geniuses are the ones that talk to themselves. So, if any of you guys out there talk to yourself, you must be a genius. You're welcome. Um, let's get you an odd job. Is it time? Oh my gosh, it's two hours past, dude. You should have had an odd job two hours ago. What were you doing? Sleeping too late. That's what you were doing. And taking too long of a bath. Goodness gracious, what do you want to do? Oh, you went to college in your dream? Okay. I like the dreams mod. If anyone has wonders why we get some of these like weird symbols, is because I have a mod in where they can have specific dreams 
And the dr oh! No, 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 no. I'll tell you in a second. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I don't want my household. Um, call the fire department. Please just call them. Please, 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 please call the fire department. Please hurry up. What was that? What was that? What was that sound? What happened? Is that like the firefighters arriving? Like, what was that sound? Yes, we know. Oh my gosh, please don't let my whole house burn, for goodness sake. <sighs> okay, stop freaking out. The fire's over. I think that's the first time I've ever called the fire department because I've never heard that noise before in my life. So the, we received 160 as an insurance payment for the items that were damaged in the recent fire. The fire has been put out. Just try to be a little more careful next time, okay? First visitors! Ah! We did it! We just had to call the fire department. There you go, guys. There's an easy little cheat. Set a fire in your house and call the fire department to get the milestone. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Amber Lynn's first visitor finally met another sim outside of her household. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is priceless. I can't believe it. Um, okay, so we're just gonna like, because <laughs> this is a funny moment, we should take a photo of these, these guys, like, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, so we might use that too. Oh my goodness, okay, that was $400 down the drain. We only got 160 from that fire. Ah, we worked so hard for this money and it just goes down the drain so fast. Have a quick meal because you don't know how to cook, obviously. So have a quick meal of some cereal, please. Try not to burn it. <laughs> All right, mom, hello. Where's your baby? Oh, you just dropped him on the floor and ran. Fantastic. Mom, give him a bath. For the goodness sake, he's sitting in some poop. Go. Go. Okay, we really need you to get an odd job, buddy. Don't drink that. Oh, okay, you're cleaning it up. I forgot I told him to do that. I thought he was going to drink that water. It's disgusting. All right, and then maybe he can clean this up when he's done, too. That'd be really good. Oh, my gosh. She's already exhausted. Oh, this is horrible. We've got nothing done with these kids because they have to take care of their needs, and their needs go down so quickly that it's just like needs after needs. It's kind of silly. If anyone else thinks that the needs go down too quickly, let me know in the comments because I'm struggling with them a lot. An awful lot. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Um, all right. Dad's cleaning up. Mom's giving a bath. And we're literally supposed to be having work done on the milestones but the milestones are kind of getting to the point where it's hard though i can mark down done for the visitor because the the firefighters cross that off for us <laughs> okay first visit to family members home so we need to do that for next one we'll need to get in get on and do a vacation um she needs to learn how to stand and also how to blow raspberry but i don't have anyone who can teach her right now because mom's busy and dad's busy so that's another problem. Dad did eat his breakfast, though, so he's feeling much better. Mom is starvation mode, though, so we need to get her fed. And um, when she's done giving him a bath, I would like her to put him down down here so he can actually, like, you know, do it, whatever. Oh, he's got a little mood lid that's saved by firefighters. Those firefighters arrived in just the nick of time. What a close one. Oh, that's so sweet. Such a sweet moment. All right, go. Okay, thank you. Box packing, 21 an hour, last minute beach party, cooking level one. Okay, what would we have to do? I'm hosting this huge annual beach bash. Pretty sure more people are going to show up than last year's. Totally going to need someone to bring some extra Kula Park pork or else there's no way I'm going to be able to make enough food to feed everyone. I think you have to make down like the little pit on the ground in Sulani. That could be a potential. It could be a potential. Um, this one, frogs for research. We just have to catch some frogs. Oh, we have to catch them for the waterfall, though. Blech. Um, 
but that's so much money. I might need to just start picking the ones that do the most money and just travel if I need to. 658. This is freaking insane. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diego. The thing is, I love the ocean with her simple waves, the nimbly dance along the shore, her s serene cyan surface sparkling like a beauty pageant contestant in the tropical sun. How maternal she is as she nourishes and sustains all the little fishies lives within and yet she looms dark and deep with untold dangers nestled within her murky waters harboring her cruel intents i'm in love i'm terrified i'm curious no way am i going near i must be closer to my beloved nope not touching her what's a sim to do would you please travel deep beneath my ocean surface and bring me back tokens of her affection i'd be forever grateful and willing to pay you substantially what, what would we have to bring him? What would I have to bring? This one also is 509. We can make over a thousand dollars today. Wander into the cave and seek ye the treasure. For the treasure you find is a treasure you get. But beware, only remove the treasure which is the treasure of my heart's desire. Least you face the consequences. But like you find it and then mail it to me because I want it. Thanks. The cave of wanders. What is that? I'm... Uh, would we be able to do this one? Let's try it. What does he have to do? Explore the beach cave. Excuse me? There's a beach cave? Okay, I gotta know. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. We're actually gonna go and explore the beach cave in the next episode. Well, not the next episode. The second next episode um so we'll go do that when we play with them again and we'll try and figure that out because if we can make five like 1100 with two odd jobs i think that would be totally worth it and then he could spend the rest of his day working at home with mom trying to train these infants a little bit more because mom is really struggling with twins i think it's really hard for her to keep up and i i, I know it probably is i i give her kudos so anyways if you guys enjoyed this please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel in the description below is all of my social media links so definitely check those out please don't forget to um comment about anything that i asked for and also don't forget to follow me over on twitch where i live stream um three times a week and also don't forget to follow me over on my discord if you'd like any links or family trees or anything they're all posted up there and i will talk to you guys in my very next one thanks so much for watching